Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say, TGIF. Today is Friday. Um, I pray that I'm finding you with great hope, with knowing that you're victorious over any circumstance, any trial, any relationship. You woke today. I pray that you woke today with much, much just hope and excitement for what the day brings. And not only what the day brings, but what you bring to your day and what you bring to this world. I've just been having so many perspectives lately of thankfulness on just being alive having health great health having great wealth and for the things that the lord has healed me from and from addictions and strongholds that the lord has just brought me through to conquer i don't know who that's for but someone needed that probably me um and i just want you i just want to take the time to thank you for tuning in today um i'm going to start in prayer and today we are reading from luke 9 57 through 62 which is following jesus thank y'all for tuning in i appreciate it if you're blessed by this word um we're growing together to be better together uh to be the best that god created us to be and to help each other along the way um i am praying and in the process of i i just have so many things that i want to learn and so many things that I, I love to learn about people and i do want to start a talk show so if anyone is interested um in collaborating or having a talk show or even just coming on live with me and talking about what god has shown you what you've learned what we can do to bless others i'm excited for this and i feel led i guess to share it obviously i'm sharing it but i'm gonna open in prayer right now uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for life. We thank you for air in our lungs. We thank you for the expectancy of what you bring to us daily, Lord, that we surrender our day before you, that we are victorious. We are not mediocre. We are exceptional. Father, we thank you for everything that you have instilled in us and even the things that we may not feel that we have. I thank you for comforting comforting us, reassuring us, Father. And even if you don't reassure us, Father, that we surrender our day to you every day, not knowing what's to come, but knowing that we are victorious over everything that comes our way. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father, for giving us the opportunity to be followers, ambassadors of you, and that we do it exceptionally well, and that we never, never, ever doubt ourselves or doubt, doubt your power, Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. I seal this word. I pray that I die to the flesh and that I speak through the power of the Holy Spirit. Anoint these lips, Father, to bring your word forth. Thank you, Father, for using me to bring educating encouragement by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray that everyone that is under the sound of my voice is blessed, has great infinite wisdom, ideas, and strategies, spiritual discernment to conquer your everyday, everyday assignments. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And today, it is following Jesus. As they were traveling on the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go! Exclamation point. Jesus told him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Then he said to another, Follow me, capitalized. Follow me, capitalized M, which is God. Lord, he said, First let me go bury my father. What? <laughs> but he told him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and spread the news of the kingdom of God. Another also said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go and say goodbye to those at my house. What? I mean, are you waiting for opportunity or you're like, wait, Lord, hold, let me go do this right quick. <laughs> Another also said, oh, I'm sorry. But Jesus said to him, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. Facts facts I, I would tell you i was just talking to my husband and i wake with expectancy i'm waiting for that call from you know i'm waiting for that call from heb i'm waiting from that call for that my breakthrough i'm waiting for that call of opportunity i get emotional because i wake every day expecting what god has and what he's assigned to me daily i wake and i'm like okay there I go to serve. Where am I going to serve? And I get emotional, I guess, because I'm proud of that. And I'm thankful for that. And when you're waiting in an opportunity <laughs> and God presents it to you, you know, when you're following and walking with him daily, you know that <laughs> you could give him your plans and he's going to give you back something like completely that's going to inconvenience those plans. 
And that's why he's God, because he does things the way we least expect him to. And I'm thankful for that because he throws things my way and I catch him. I'm like, there I go. There I go. Catch. It's like when you're playing football, you catch the ball and you run with it because you got to make that touchdown. Your team is depending on you. And it's the same thing with God. I, I, I'm. <laughs> it's funny to me. It's not really funny in a serious sense because it's like, God, if he says, go do this, and you're like, hold on, Lord, I need to go do this right quick. It's like, what? Like, are you waiting on your opportunity or you're wanting God to wait on you? It, it's it's hilarious to me because I'm like, I would be like, I mean, what? And it's like, he told them, like, I will follow you, Lord. But it, it, it's crazy to me because anytime that you say, I love you, but I'm sorry, but it completely voids what you said before the but. Like, I tried to lose the but. Not physically, though. Don't lose the but physically. And it says, but... No one who puts his hand to the plow looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Amen, Lord. Like what? Like if you put your hand to the plow and you're harvesting and you're sowing in the front, <laughs> hold him up, hold him up. I, I got to go back here right quick. What? Like, no, like you wake up. What happened yesterday? Leave it in yesterday, but take the education of what you've learned into the future. And don't be telling God, but wait, hold him up. Wait, Lord. <laughs> wait, let me finish this. No. When, when he calls you, you're ready. You're ready. And if you're not ready, that's a whole nother video. Like, that's a whole nother video. I wait. I know. Or let me rephrase that. I feel at times that I'm not ready. But I wake and I'm like, Lord, get me ready. Strengthen me for the things that, like, I don't even know what's coming. And I've learned that when you prepare for the worst, like, I, I'm so optimistic. I always say, why am I going to prepare for the worst? That's dumb. Well, the only reason why I would want to prepare for the worst is so I can have a solution for what I'm going to do in the worst to bring the best. In Jesus' name, somebody needed that word. And today in the journal, my grandmother wrote, we are all that follow Jesus are to put him first. Taking, taking the word of his kingdom out to the lost world. Our time in this world is short. Amen. So we are not supposed to put anything before Jesus' work. Mm. We have to discipline ourselves. Amen, Grandma. And her prayer, I'm going to share it with you. Um, Lord, help us to be faithful to you always in all of our doings. Amen. Help us to not prioritize anything, Lord, other than you and what you've called us to. We may look like we may be go, going backwards, but we're only going forwards with God. He may call you to go back to do something that you feel like, I already did this. Why am I here again? There's something you forgot to learn. So that's why I say do things exceptionally so you won't have to go back and correct anything. If you, cor if you go and you do something exceptionally well, you'll never have to go back and fix it because you did it to the best of your abilities. I will tell you that I'm learning that patching walls, they're not my forte. However... I know that if I don't patch the walls, I can't paint the walls. And, and it's because right now I'm preparing something. Um, and I'm like, I, I see my husband do everything so exceptionally well. He goes back and he corrects what I do, you know, what, I, what I'm not the best at. <laughs> but I, I need to learn to do it exceptionally well. Why? Because I need to help him help take the load off. However, that's a whole other video. When you have a purpose mate, they pick up sometimes where you fail. And where they fail, you pick up. That's another video. Uh, if you want to know any about purpose mates, you can go into my YouTube channel, find that. Her application was to put you first. This was, I went back to because a couple of days ago she had put to put you first to God. That was our application. Um, but we need reminders to put him first, to put his works first, to put his assignments above our own selfish ways. Because if we don't, then that's not doing an exception well. I thank you for your time invested in today. I pray that you're blessed. And if you are blessed, please share it. And even if you're not blessed, share it either way. Because there's someone out there that's experiencing something that might need a word that God has brought to their life. There's people that wake expecting God's word. And they're like hearing things. And they're like, how did that person know? I don't know. I don't know what you're going through. But he does. And I'm a vessel that he uses to bring forth what you may need. So I am thank you for your time. I love you dearly. And today I am wearing the Esme Lash, which is the first and only um, Holy Lash Collection, uh, Lord and Esme Beauty, $15 clear mink band lashes and local deliveries or same day local orders or same day deliveries. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I get it to you ASAP. Amazon is teaching me. So uh, today, whatever it is that God has called you to follow, I pray in the name of Jesus that you put everything aside and do what he's called you to do because there's something you need from what he's calling you and it's not going to be wrapped when it calls he calls you to do something you could be praying for finances he's gonna ask you to do something and you're like i don't want to do that well then you're not going to get what you need 
So, in Jesus' name, we bless. Thank you for your time. Have an amazing weekend. If God calls me to log in tomorrow, I will because I try to take Saturdays and Sundays off. I'm extremely thankful for each and every one of you that listen to me, share me. I'm thankful because um, it just confirms that uh, <laughs> I'm doing what I'm doing and I don't need confirmation. But at times it's great, right? At times it's great to get confirmation. Like, you walk out of your house and you're like, I'm feeling my fit. <laughs> and then you're like, was it the right fit and then someone's like oh my god i love your fit and you're like oh wow it is so sometimes we all need confirmation at times sometimes we feel that we do you don't when you're walking with god you may not always get it but at the right time he's going to show you that everything you were doing i needed you to do so and god doesn't need us we need him but i pray he needs me because uh, i need him so in Jesus' name, be blessed. If God calls me to see you tomorrow, I will. Please share, share, share. I'll post this on my YouTube channel. And I thank you for your time. God bless you. Please bless others with what God has called you to. Don't be a hoarder. Mm -mm. God don't like ugly. Bye.